Good morning, children. Happy Sabbath sa inyong lahat. It's me, Uncle Edwin, with Fraser Valley Seventh-day Adventist Church, and hope you've all been doing very well. It's been very hot, so I hope you guys have been drinking lots of water because we need a lot of water even when it's not hot. We always want to be hydrated, right? So, you're probably wondering what I have on my forehead. I have the seal of God on my forehead. You see, it says God and it looks like a seal. So I got this God seal on my forehead because you just caught me. I'm reading the book of Revelation and that's the last book of the Bible and I'm reading here about God's seal and he says God is going to seal his people with his name on their foreheads. Wait, but, but is this really God's seal? No, it's just a piece of paper and a sticker with a name with a uh, God written written on it but what does that mean to be sealed with the name of God on your forehead so let's try and figure this out kids if you have a Bible with you go ahead and bring it out so let's go to the book of Revelation chapter 7 verse 2 are you there we're going to read verses 2, 3, and 4. And it says, Then I saw another angel ascending from the east, having the seal of the living God. And he cried out with a loud voice to the four angels to whom it was granted to harm the earth in the sea, saying, Do not harm the earth, the sea, or the trees till we have sealed the servants of God on their foreheads. And I heard the number of those who were sealed, 144,000 of all the tribes of children of Israel were healed. So we see here an angel is going around sealing God's people with God's seal on their forehead. Don't you want to be sealed? with the seal of God? Well, you see, I have a passport here. This is my passport. It says Canada passport. So this means that I can travel almost anywhere I want because I have a passport. But this passport, it's important to have a passport because it tells you where you're from. So so if I go to another country, I bring my passport, I show my passport, and I'm able to get uh, into that country. And there, anyone that's there can get my passport and see where I'm from because it has all my information here. So it's important when you're traveling to know where you came from and um, who protects you you see because this passport because it says Canada that means I'm a citizen of Canada and Canada protects me so something happens Canada has my back but if you think about it when you get to heaven are we going to have a passport no we're going to have the seal of God right We are going to have the seal of God on our foreheads because God created us. And if God created us, that means that He owns us and He loves us and He wants to protect us. But we're not just going to be walking around with a piece of paper that says God, right? Uh, so let's see what else we can find out about the seal. In chapter 9 verse 4 it says they were commanded not to harm the earth or the grass of the earth or any green thing or any tree but only those men who do not have the seal of God on their foreheads so we see God's seal those that 
have got a seal are going to be protected. So you want God's seal, right? And if we go to chapter 14, verse 1, he says, Then I look and behold the Lamb standing on Mount Zion with him, 144,000 having his Father's name written on their foreheads. You see, that's where I found what to write on the seal. It says the name of their Father, and that's God, right? The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, and that's the Holy Trinity. So we want the seal of God on our foreheads. But you know, there's a process to get this passport. You got to make an appointment. You f uh, go fill out some paperwork. You got to sign your name. So we know about the seal of God. But how do we get the seal of God? Well, you know, in John chapter 14, verse 15. Let's see what that says real quick. That's John 14, verse 15. And it says, Jesus is speaking. It says, if you love me, keep my commandments. That sounds easy enough. Well, I love my parents, so when they tell me things that I need to do and the rules I need to follow, I listen to them because I love them. And the same goes with God. So Jesus says, if you love me, keep my commandments, follow me. And we see in Revelation 14, verse 12, it says, Here is the patience of the saints. That's us. Here are those who keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. You see, so uh, all we need to do is follow God and keep His commandments. And this is the last verse we're going to read. Revelation 22 verse 14 and it says blessed are those who do his commandments that they may have the right to the tree of life and may enter through the gates into the city so we see here that we're going to be blessed those that have God's name on our foreheads but you know it it just doesn't mean that we're gonna have a sticker with God on it, pasted on our forehead. You see, God's saying that we're gonna have God in our minds and He's going to be in our thoughts, right? We have a wonderful brain in us and we, we can always use it to think. And, and we can always use it to think about God and Jesus and His commandments and his love and his and everything he's done for us because Jesus is our friend right we can't wait to be with Jesus again and it's gonna be exciting you know you just don't need a, uh, a Canada passport to get to heaven all you need is God's seal right you guys you know the commandments the Ten Commandments for for Moses do you guys remember that story yeah that's some cool stuff right it's just 10 of them so if you don't remember all 10 go ahead and review and later today wow i'm really excited i'm really i'm excited that i don't have to walk around with a seal that says god because that's really weird, but God is on my mind. That's awesome. All right, kids, let's go ahead and do a word of prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Lord, for this beautiful day, and thank you for this wonderful, beautiful children, Lord, that are here listening to this story. Thank you, Lord for giving us your Bible and giving us Jesus so we know what to do and who to follow. Lord, be with these children and seal them, Lord, with God's seal so that we may enter heaven and be 
with you, a citizen in your kingdom. Be with us through the rest of the week and the rest of this seventh day, Lord. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, children. I'll see all of you next time and have a wonderful Sabbath. O sige, ingat kayo and bye for now.